Hello my nail friends and welcome back to Dippin' with Carolina. Today I have a really fun video. I have the Valentine's Day collection from Risen Legacy. It features six shades and they come from 0.5 ounce to 1 ounce ranging from $45 to $65 for the whole collection depending on the size you choose. These are the colors. They're absolutely stunning and perfect for this season. And don't forget to use my discount code CAROLINA10 for 10% off. So I already have Builder Gel on my nails, and I will link that video up above. But what I'm doing now is just taking an alcohol wipe and removing any oils, and then I'm going to apply UNT Peel Base because I prefer to pop off my nails versus soak in acetone. I'm going to apply one full coat to each nail. So here are the new Risen Legacy 0.5 ounce jars compared to the 1 ounce jars that she had. For now, she's just going to be putting collections in the 0.5 jars, but soon she's going to transition over to offer all of her colors in 0.5 ounce jars. This color is called Eye Candy. How beautiful. It's got these purple iridescent glitters and pink glitters and magenta. So I'm going to put this on my middle finger and on my ring finger. And I'm going to apply two coats of this onto each finger. Chunky glitters can be a little bit intimidating to work with, but I promise you it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of work. I prefer to lay my finger flat into the jar rather than dipping in at a 45 degree angle. And this helps the glitter lay flat. After that's done, I like to wait about 10 or so seconds for the base to get a little tacky and then I press down my glitters. This ensures that they will lay flat on my nail. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on my ring finger. Apply base to the whole nail, then I'm going to lay my finger flat into the jar. I go around my cuticles first to get whatever I can before the glue starts to set. And then I start pressing down. Sometimes I put my finger into the jar to pick up a little bit of clear acrylic that's in the jar and pat down so my finger doesn't get sticky, but it doesn't really bother me. I will just file it off later. So the first coat might not look pretty and that's okay. Don't worry about it. The second coat is what really gives you coverage. And if you don't get coverage in the second coat, you can always place the glitters wherever you need them to go. And again, I go around my cuticle to remove anything that's there. And then I press down very lightly just to not shift the glitter as the base is still a little bit wet and tacky. Now the next color I'm going in is Risen Legacy's Bittersweet, which is also a part of the collection. It is the only solid color in the collection, and I'm going to put this on the rest of my fingers. It's a beautiful purpley pinky plum color, a little dusty, perfect for any season, quite honestly. It could go great for fall even. And look how beautiful that coverage is in one coat. I like to start with the brush in the middle of my nail and push it down towards my cuticle and then back up towards the tip. If you watch really slowly, 
That's what I do and that ensures that I won't flood my cuticle. I'm going to put two coats of this color on each of the fingers that don't have the glitter on them. As always, I recommend encapsulating in clear. Not only does it help your glitters, but it helps your solid colors from scratches, from buffing and filing. If you've ever noticed those little white spots, it's probably because you didn't use clear, or if you did use clear, then you buffed away the clear coat and started digging into the color itself. I especially recommend encapsulating your glitter dips as glitter will be filed off when going in for buffing and filing and you'll reveal these tr true silver like edges on the glitter that means you buffed into the glitter i only showed you two fingers as it's basically the same exact thing and so then i use a stiff brush to remove all the excess clear before i go in with my activator i give this about two minutes after the last nail has set and dried now I'm going to apply activator, which stops the adhesion process and is ready for buffing and filing. I apply two coats just to make sure it penetrates both layers or the three layers of dip that I have. I'm going to buff and file off camera just not to bore you guys. Now we're going to go in with a stamping plate from Maniology. I thought this was cute and Valentine's Day themed, but the color I chose, I thought it would be more... It would stand out more and it really didn't it kind of blended in with the color but that's okay i don't mind it is what it is i really didn't feel like redoing it so with stamping everyone has their own technique but what i like to do is scrape in one direction from left to right and then pick up from right to left i apply enough stamping polish and scrape once or twice that's it and then use very 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 light pressure to pick it up you will be surprised how light pressure you need to pick up a stamp. And on my thumb, you will see the stamp was not large enough, so I just did two separate stamps. With this kind of image, it was okay, but other images, it might be a little hard to line up, but you just have to work around it sometimes. After any kind of stamping, I always take Maniology's smudge-free top coat and I top coat those nails that have the stamp on them. Dip liquids can smudge a stamp and most likely do, so I like to do this sandwich technique by putting the no smudge top coat. And then what I'm going to do is put a layer of base. So the dip liquids can make a sandwich basically around the no smudge top coat and the stamp. After the base has dried, I apply my regular activator to all my nails. Remember, top coat and activator work hand in hand to create that shiny finish. 
So you want to apply your activator and then wait two minutes. Put on a timer. Don't let it go after two minutes. You're going to apply your top coat and the first coat of top coat, it's quick. One or two strokes, not one or two, two or three strokes per nail. And then the second time you go around with top coat, you could be more precise. And lastly, I'm going to finish off with scales of a mermaid cuticle oil in Not Your Basic Vanilla. It's a beautiful vanilla with a hint of peppermint, and it's so moisturizing. Look how pretty this manicure came out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Bye, guys!